There's one more term I'd like to introduce before we go to study Newton's first law of motion and that is force. Force, uh, we must all understand what this thing is, but formally to define it, it could be defined as a pull or push which changes or uh, tend to change. Let me write this, a pull or push which changes or tend to change. The state of rest or of uniform motion of any object is called force. SI unit is Newton and uh, of course it's a vector quantity this much of thing you must be knowing and we have studied vector calculus properly so we will try and use that here and this you must understand when we push something or we pull something we are said to exert some force on the body so that is what force is the pull and push could be through various medium and actually it's really always a pull or a push for a force to be exerted the SI unit is Newton it's a vector quantity vector quantity has direction as well so if we say that we are applying 5 Newton of force we have to specify in which direction so maybe we are pulling this block with a force of 5 Newton in this direction now there could be some other person who is also pulling the block with the same amount of force in opposite direction now the fact it's a vector quantity it will be acted vectorially so it will follow vector algebra and not the normal arithmetic so 5 plus 5 is not 10 it is in opposite direction they will so they will cancel out so since it's a vector quantity so if somebody asks what is the net amount of force on this block the net amount of force on this block would be zero because it's a vector quantity it follows vector algebra and we know that very well how to deal with vector algebra okay so the net amount of force is 5 Newton. So the important point I'm trying to make here before we go to first law of motion is the f there are external force on this block but the net force is zero. So there could be a situation where there are various forces acting on a block but still the net force is zero. If there's a block like this and there are three forces acting on the block each at 120 degree like this and equal in magnitude then the net amount of force on this block is zero. Similarly, there could be a situation you have 5, 10, 15, 20 forces, but still the net amount of force is zero. So external force acting on a body is one thing and net amount of external force acting on a body is another thing. There could be many forces, many external forces acting on a block, but there's still block, but still block will not move because the net force would be zero. For example, in this case, the block is not going to go anywhere, neither left nor right, because the net amount of force is zero. Okay, now we are ready to go for Newton's first law of motion.